Today, we're gonna teach you exactly how to mill a nasty aerospace grade stainless steel called A286. It's about to get As always, before we get started, I wanna invite you, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't, hit the like button if you like this video when we're finished, and go ahead and put your comments down below. If there's something you want us to teach on, if you have some questions, put it in the comments, you might see it in a future vlog. So as we continue our series in how to mill and drill and machine hard materials, we're gonna step into the world of hard stainlesses. So you might be thinking like hard stainless, stainless isn't actually hard, right? And you're right when you're thinking about 303, 316, 304, but then you can keep rising up into the exotics, all right? And this material, A286, is a material that we commonly have to machine for top aerospace rocket companies. A286 is an iron-based super alloy. When we looked at Inconel 625, we had chromium at 20%, and then we had nickel at 58%. And then we jumped up to Monel, and the nickel went up to 63%, the chromium left, and we went to 33% copper. It's a recipe that they put together and they harden, they anneal it, they age treat it, and put it through a process to get it to work for their specific applications, all right? So now let's get back to A286. So A286 also has chromium, but it's at 15%. Probably like 14 to 17%, we'll say 15. And it also has nickel, but the nickel has dropped down to 27%. And then it has some different materials on a low end, some titanium, some aluminum, some different things. And then the rest of it, the majority of it is iron. Now they take the ingredients and they solution treat it. And then they precipitation harden it, AKA aged hardening over a period of time to get the material perfect to the AMS spec called out. All right, that's a lot of information, but it's fun, right? Because you're learning about so many different types of materials. And then we take the same Harvey 3 end mill and we cut it. And based on the ingredients, based on the hardness, based on the rigidity and the variables, we adjust the surface foot and the chip load and the depth of cut accordingly to have success. All right, so enough talking, let's get to cutting some material. So we're gonna put our surface foot at 240, and then we're gonna put our chip load at 0.0036. Our radial depth of cut is gonna be 4% or 20 thousandths, and then we're gonna go full depth with the Harvey 3, which is one inch deep. Oh, you hear that? Oh, that's butter right there, that's butter right there. Sounds so good, it's at 4% step over. One inch deep, sounds perfect. Let's actually play with it a little bit. I don't wanna actually speed it up and put more pressure on the tool because I know from experience this is the sweet spot. But how about we double our depth of cut? So instead of 20, let's go 40 to 8% radial. Let's check it out. Instantly, you can hear there's more pressure on the tool. You can hear it squealing a little bit more. So I actually increased the chip load just now because it was cutting so good. I increased it from 0.0036 to 0.0043 and instantly I heard the pressure and the cut get louder and now I can hear it in the tool. We're still having success, but you can just hear it working harder. 
And that's the whole point here. A lot of people look at our speeds and feeds and they use different tools. These are specific to this Harvey 3 and these materials. And if you stay in that sweet spot, you'll have success. But once you venture out of that sweet spot, that's where you're gonna have problems, all right? So let's go back to our original numbers. 240 SFM, 0.0036 inches per tooth. I have a feeling that in these parameters, we'll be just fine. All right, so there you go. Chips look absolutely great. Part looks great. The tool looks great. And you saw, like, it's not about just going after it all the time. You go hard when you can, and you slow down when you need to. It's all about that tool life. It's about productivity, and it's about having success. So in this video, you saw, we started one place, we went up, and we came back, and we call this the sweet spot, and now you guys know exactly where the sweet spot is when milling A286 stainless steel aerospace grade. Boom!